Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this week has been really busy for me. Um, it's golden week right now. So this past weekend, I went to like a bajillion different places in Tokyo. Not a bajillion, but like five different places in Tokyo. And it's super crowded and super chaotic. And figure out the transport well, the transportation system for the first time um, was really interesting. It was a little bit better than I thought it would be after a while I kind of got the hang of it. Definitely was super overwhelming at first. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't really take that much video. My phone was dying because of using data for maps and stuff. I took, so I took a lot of pictures. Um, I took like a few minutes of film but not a lot. Again, I'm really sorry guys. Um, I'm planning to go back to each place I visited on just separate trips, like a day totally for each place so I can totally explore it and do video for you guys. Um, it's going to be really fun, I promise. It's going to be a very fun video. Now I'm inside my room and me just talking. It's going to be super fun. So I promise I'll be coming soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed I would like to take it too, you know. Um... But anyway, yeah, not to distract from the point, so the reason why I'm making this video, it's not a vlog, um, this video is kind of just cultural differences and things I've noticed while here that I think are really interesting, um, for me at least, maybe it'll be interesting for you if you're curious. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So number one. So, my first point is I've noticed that here, eating while walking is not really a thing. And this isn't really, like, a big thing that stands out to me. While I'm in the U.S., it's not something I've ever really thought about, like, being odd or something just, like, that you're conscious of. Um, but I think it happens in the U.S. a lot. People eat when they're walking, when they're, like, running late to somewhere, they're still on the go. Maybe there's, like, they got some food while I'm visiting a place with a friend and they're eating and walking. Um, but it's not something you really, like, stare at. You're like, ooh, that's weird. The person's eating and walking. Um, and I didn't really notice it here until I was eating while walking on the go, or my friends were too, and we've kind of noticed and said the same thing. We kind of looked around and we're like, you know, I've never seen someone really eat while they walk. I've seen people drinking when they're walking, but never eating while they're walking. So that was really interesting to me. Um, I've made like assumptions and guesses of why that is. Maybe like you're supposed to sit down and enjoy your meal or just like. It's not an acceptable thing. I'm not sure, but that was really interesting. Um, yeah, it's a small thing, but really cool, I guess. Um, and number two, so this is kind of like an obvious thing, the shoe thing, where you have to wear shoes, like, you have indoor shoes and outdoor shoes, you wear slippers indoors, but something that kind of like threw me off guard is like, so of course I have my indoor like slippers, but then also for the bathroom in the dorm too, there's different bathroom shoes. So you have your indoor shoes and you have to take off your indoor shoes and put in bathroom shoes when you're in the bathroom. So I know there was that extra little level, you know, of uh, wearing the shoes. It kind of just like threw me through a loop. We came to the bathroom that, you know, the first week and I looked down and I was like, like, yeah, make sure you take off those shoes and put on those. And I was like, oh, didn't know that extra little step. It's a little bit of a pain, but um, I appreciate what the reasoning behind it is, you know. Um, yeah, so number three is heating and air conditioning. Um, so they're really good here about turning on and off the heating and air conditioning when you're not in the room. You know, I have one for my own room, there's one for the common room, for the bathroom, and anytime you're not in the room or someone else is not in the room, you turn it off, you know, to save money, I guess. Um, also, in the school, I feel like they're very controlling of it, too, because when I first got here, it was super, super cold, and I just remember being in the school the first week and just shaking to death, and I just was freezing, and I didn't understand why it was so cold, but I think they didn't have the heating on at all, and it was much colder even in the school than outside because it's shady, you know, in the school, not... There's sun, there isn't a sun to keep, keep you warm, you know, um, so that was really interesting, you know, I guess that's good too, um, I already forgot what number I am, I'm sorry you guys can count from now on, <laughs> so the next one is seatbelts on buses, um, this is a little bit surprising too, when I, like, 
first landed here, you know how I had to ride the bus back to my dorm. Well, there are seat belts on the bus and they are very strong about emphasizing how you need to be wearing them, how very strict here about rules about wearing your seatbelt um, on the bus, which is interesting because when I've been in the U.S., it's very few times, very seldom, you'll have a seatbelt on a bus. Usually, in the public transportation, we have buses, bus, buses, ugh. <sighs> sorry, buses where you live to go different places, and also when you ride on the school bus when you're younger, there's no seatbelt. Um, at least for me, there wasn't, and, you know, even if there has been seatbelts, they're not very strict about enforcing that, and that's always been a little bit of a scary thing to me. Um, when I was little, I used to think a lot about it when I was on the school bus, um, because we have these really big ditches for where I'm from on the side of the road, and I always thought to myself, I was like, well, what if the bus drives off into the ditch and the bus flips over to the side or, you know, flips over completely. Because they are very big ditches, you know. And, um, I was like, all the kids on the bus are going to topple and top each other and just be thrown around all around this bus. And it was a very scary, um, thought. <laughs> it always used to scare me a little bit. So I think it's a really good idea that they have these seatbelts and they're very strict about it. You know, I mean... We have these rules for our cars, but why not as much for the bus? I've never understood that. So, I kind of like that rule a little bit. Um, I think it's a good thing. Um, yeah, so the next point is giving money to the cashier. So, you never often hand money directly to the cashier. Usually, they have trays or you sit down on the table. And I kind of like that because it kind of prevents people from dropping change everywhere. Um, no human contact. So, maybe if someone's sick or germy, I don't know, it prevents the spread of germs. Um, so, that's kind of nice. I haven't minded that too much. It was kind of a weird thing at first because I'm so... Um, programmed and used to it handing money to people so it's kind of different like at first it was like a it took me a second to process I was like oh <laughs> and it's like put my money down so um that's kind of interesting I don't know it's different and then the next thing oh is okay I guess this will be my last point is cleaning um so you've probably seen this before I don't know where online TV, movies, I don't know, how in Japanese schools they clean, the students clean themselves, the rooms. Um, so here at the dorm, we kind of have that same system too. It's actually cleaning day today. Um, we have it twice a week and everyone in the dorm gets assigned a job to do each week. Um, you know, we do it twice a week, as I said. So you got a different job every other day. Um, some days you have off, so I've done things like, I don't know, wipe, just wiping down the floor in different areas, and it's crazy how dirty it gets people, holy crap, like, you know, I talked about earlier, you wear indoor shoes and indoor indoor shoes, and still there's, like, dirt and hair and dust, and it's disgusting, it's very disgusting, um, yeah, but what else do I do? I vacuum, wipe down mirrors, um, wipe down the sinks, change, like, the gutter trash thingies in the sink. Um, just really basic things like that. Not, like, intensive cleaning, but very light cleaning. Um, sometimes there's days where I'm like, ugh, I don't feel like doing this. But honestly, the jobs aren't that hard at all. And I kind of like it for the fact that, again, like, it was so shocking to see how dirty, like, the bottom of my, like, mop thingy was. I was like, it was just, ugh, it just grossed me out. So I was like, I'm kind of glad we clean. <laughs> Because I can't even imagine how gross it would get um, if we didn't. And I think it helps people appreciate more um, just living in a clean environment. Because if you make a mess, then you're probably going to be the one cleaning it up later on. Or like, I don't know, someone you know and then make it mad at you for making it dirty. I don't know. So I think it makes people more aware of the mess they're making. Which I think is a very good thing because it's just... I can't even tell you how many times back in school, you know, high school below, where I've seen kids my age make such a mess or, like, stick gum underneath the seat or, like, 
drop trash and leave trash, you know, like, just very inconsiderate things, and it's just so gross, and you just feel like you live in a grime hole, I don't know, it's so nasty, and I think if people were forced to clean up their own mess, I think they become more responsible for it, because it's more work for you, not other people, so no one would, no one wants to make more work for themselves than they have to. So I kind of really like that rule. Um, yeah, so those are kind of just my little points of differences. Oh, wait, I have another one. Um, actually, no, I'll talk about this one later. I'll make this into a different video. Um, it's more about tips and awarefulness about going abroad just for people from coming from the U.S. to Japan. I'm sorry I don't have that knowledge of other countries. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my tips. I know it's just a little simple video. I still made it last ten, over 10 minutes though. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yeah, um, look forward to my next video. Um, it should be interesting, I'm hoping. Um, it's going to be a surprise. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.